Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is about 7 p.m. Uh, no, about 5 p.m., rather, on November the 3rd. And we're ready to sell our eggs. Uh, so let's get in position here. We got a few over by the hen house, too, that we have to pick up. We finished the hay and made the made the sausages for that, so that went pretty well overall. Uh, so let's change output mode to storing. And uh, we'll see how we do on the eggs this time around. We don't have quite as many to sell this year as we did last year because um, you know, we've been putting them in the bakery. But uh, still have a pretty decent amount. And actually here, let's uh, set that back to distributing so they s the rest of them stay in there. Okay. Now let's go over by the hen house and grab the other ones. And then we'll check prices and see who's got the best prices. <clears throat> Yeah, so I put, um, we got three and just a little more sausages out of the fourth hay cutting. Uh, the yield isn't as good on the first and fourth because we don't let it get to the second growth stage. But the second and third uh, hay cuttings we do. So if you don't already know this, the net effect of that is that you get about the same amount of hay if you did five cuttings a year, but with one less cutting, so works out pretty good. All right, we'll grab these two, and um, actually, I want to grab the partial. There, beautiful. Okay, so let's see. We've got uh, twenty thousand liters of eggs. Let's look at the sales for eggs. And uh, yeah, November is the best month for that. Okay, so let's see. We got thirteen ninety seven. Uh, looks like that's the best price, and that is. Is my bakery not named OG's Bakery? It doesn't. Uh, oh, tag place. Yeah, that's that's my bakery. Why isn't that thing named OG's Bakery? Okay, well we're not taking them there, obviously. I, I don't have room for eggs there anyway. Not not that that matters, because I've got a mod that fixes that issue. Okay, uh, well let's look for the next best price then I guess. So we can't use that. So thirteen ninety seven. Uh, 41, 56, 67, Mama Joe's Mini Mart. So that appears to be the best prices. Okay. So let's just flip right on around here. Okay, let's see how we do. $27,564, not too bad. I figured it was gonna be somewhere close to 30 grand. Uh, because it was some, it, that, uh, that's about what it was last year, but last year we weren't putting them into the bakery, so we had a few more, excuse me, a few more to sell there. Okay. Here, let's undo those. All right, so we are finished with November. 
um, next uh, next month in December, uh, we're gonna sell a few loads of straw. And I think wasn't there something else in December that we were gonna sell too? I can't remember. So, sold our eggs. Milk comes back up a little bit in December. Silage is still January. Hey, we're not selling. Yeah, so straw is still good in December. <coughs> oh, it was bread. Yeah, so we're going to sell our bread next month. And if we have any excess flour, we could sell that in December too. Yeah, we do. We do have some extra flour in the distribution warehouse. So yeah, we'll sell that as well. So that's good. Make a little bit of money off of the extra flour in addition to the bread. Um, and I think cheese cheese pops back up, but we don't really have enough of that for that to really matter a whole lot. And chocolate is January. And we don't really have anything else here. Uh, that we would want to sell. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be flour and bread for December sales. So let's take a look at uh, end of the month finances here. Uh, we didn't purchase anything in November. Uh, we, I guess, I guess I didn't repair anything in November. Or if I did, it, it cost us a buck. Vehicle leasing costs, that's for the uh the roller that we're leasing uh property maintenance is 812 production cost is minus 68 we sold 27,564 dollars of product minus 559 for water uh got we had one cultivating contract and then there was a couple of small harvest ones that popped up that I didn't mess with so we just did one of those we paid workers $5,421. We need to pay our pallet guy. Okay, so he's paid. And uh, that leaves us now with uh, $39,074 for November. I like the... I like the way our greenhouse is light up when it gets dark out. It looks really cool. Got those lights up there. Very nice. Okay, so uh, in the sales, if any... Ooh. That just came up for sale. That wasn't there earlier. Oh, we got an, another Claus Scorpion. Uh, how old is this one? This one's 18 months. How old is ours? We're looking for Telehandler. Ours is 63 months. Yeah, I mean, that looks like a pretty good deal, but... It's not something we need to do. Now this this is only a six point two meter applicator. That's just way too way too short. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna bother with that. This is a sugar beet harvester, which we definitely aren't gonna do. Yeah, okay, so nothing really in the sales that we're interested in there. Uh, I've already done all my chores, so all of our critters should be in good shape. We are gonna need to get some grain for our chickens in the next couple of months and we might end up just having to, to purchase um, some grain for them but that's fine not a big deal uh to do that so our cows excuse me our cows are in pretty good shape but i've got uh, a mixture a partial mixture in the barn and the sheep are in good shape the uh, greenhouses I filled up with water so they're in good shape for seeds and manure and water so we're good on that and everything's blue here so we are in good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go on into December. I'll see you guys next month. All right, guys, welcome to December. We got our, our snowman out in the yard there. That's just fantastic. Okay, first thing, let's look at the sails. That rope is still there, and then this looks like a chaser bin or something, or a sugarcane trailer, actually. Uh, but it can also be used for hay and silage, too. Uh, the thing that's kind of cool about this is this actually goes way up in the air and then dumps over. 
Um, but definitely not something we need. Okay, so that's it for the sales. Let's, there shouldn't be any contract. Oh, you know what, though? Last year there were some cultivating contracts that came up in December. Yeah, look at that. Okay, um, they're not very big fields. Okay, I'll think about that for later. But uh, the plan for here and now is to sell our bread and our extra flour. Let's just make sure that the prices are still the best. It, oh, they du they dipped the <laughs> duck on it. They dipped down a little bit, but then they come back up again in in um, January. What what are the prices? So seventeen twenty three. That's still higher than the best price from last year. Uh, and then and what about flour? Okay, so flour is still high in December. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Um, let's just go ahead and sell. Because if I wait another month, it could even dip down further. So, whoops, where am I going? We're just going to do it. We'll hop in our pickup here. Some lights going on. And go back and grab this trailer because we're I'm not expecting to have that many pallets. Not enough to warrant the reefer, but we'll be using that for January for sure. Okay, so let's pull the bread out. Change output mode to storing. Move that over just a little bit. A pretty decent quantity of bread there. Closer. Oh, and even more is coming out. Oh, that's great. Okay. Do we have more? Okay, looks like that's it for bread. Yep, that's it. Okay, so change that back to distributing and then flour. Uh, change to storing. Premium flour, type 405. Sorghum flour, well, this it's kind of a combination of sorghum flour and wheat flour and even some barley flour. All right, now, as far as the sales for flour goes, uh, for bread, we're going to go to... What just happened there? Knock that off. Uh, oh, yeah, wrong thing. That's what happened. Okay, so we're going to go 1724. So it looks like the grocery mart has the best price at the moment. What about for flour? 664. So the bakery, is that my bakery again? Yep. Well, actually, is it? Yeah, I think so. No, maybe not. Nope, that's the one that's further down the road. Okay. That's the other bakery that we don't own. And that's the best price for flour then? 664. It looks like it. Okay, so let's take the bread to the grocery store first, and then we'll come back and take the flour to the bakery. I think this is our first time selling bread. Well, yeah, it would be because we didn't have the bakery last year. Ooh, a lot of lag going on there. Thank you. 
$34,499. That's pretty good. I'll take it. All right. Nice. You know, I think... I think the production... Speed on these base game productions is way too slow. I mean, you think about it. That was a year's supply of bread. Are you kidding me? <laughs> way more than that. Um, and I know that there are some mods that, that do, you know, like double the speed of the production. In fact, I think I could even go into like XML files and, and tweak that myself. I just, I'd have to research on exactly how to do it, but I'm pretty sure that that can be done. Because it just, it seems awfully slow. So you're not going to give me a double stack, huh? Okay, I'm just waiting to see if any more flowers going to pop out. Yep. Sure enough. Okay, let's check the price again because they have been known to change on a moment's notice. So we're looking for flower now and 664 is still the best price at the bakery okay let's start selling some flour here we can sell this because our bakery should be completely chocked full of flour let's just double check and make sure that is indeed the case yes it is completely full okay I think it's all the silage bales that I have in the sausages that are causing that leg. Oh. Uh. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I made this mixture and I forgot to... I forgot to actually take it into the barn. My tractor's been sitting out here running for the last four days. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, well, we'll just pretend that like that didn't happen either. There's a lot of... I say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> Lots of things didn't actually happen. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay. Now, at least the cows aren't out of feed. I was, I was going, why is that tractor out there? It's like, oh, because I never put it away. Okay, now the cows are completely full. And the tractor's put away. Is the... Oh, I didn't turn the lights off, though. There we go. We got some nice lighting in our cow barn, too, when it's dark outside. I love it. Okay, let's go over to the baker now. For goodness sakes. Okay. I didn't do a very good job of trying to sell all that at the same time, did I? Um, alright, so let's let's look in here for a minute. We sold um uh, I don't remember now. <laughs> Completely forgot. Uh, well, we've sold a total of 43,808. So, yeah, okay, so we we sold 34,000, I think it was, ish bread. And, uh, so I'm I'm really tired. It's late. I gotta go to bed after this. We're, we're done recording this. Uh, 4,308 minus 34 is about $9,000. 
ish. Okay, yeah, so we made around $9,000 off of that. So that's not too bad. And we have another load, too. I don't know if it's a full load, but... Let's go grab it. What are you stopping for? Get out of the road, dummy. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but I have a mod that I installed actually a while back that allows me to reset the traffic. So if they, you know, if you get like in a big jam or something, I can make them disappear. And I've <laughs> used it more than once. I, I think, and I've, I've said this before too, all they have to do is just remove the collision from the traffic. And then it's fine. <laughs> and then it's not going to be a problem. Ugh. I don't know why that doesn't happen. Oh, nice. Okay, so we do have another full load. Let's see if anything more pops out. One more. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Um, let's just load those onto... Alright, this is that stupid trailer that drifts. I'm going, why is it moving? Guess we could have put some on the pickup, but that's alright. Okay, so let's set the flower back to... Distributing. And then that'll go back into our bakery. Strap it down. Let's check the prices again because they could possibly change. So we got 665. Yeah, so it looks like the bakery. That's still the far bakery, yeah. It's got the best price. All right, let's go. Let's go make another, well, probably about 10,000, a little over 10,000, because we have three extra pallets on this one. Yeah, those are the sausages from our fourth hay cutting there. Ooh, lag city. When I did the harvesting, or not the, I keep saying harvesting, when I did the selling last January, you know, it was one, one big time lapse for you guys, but for me, I had to actually turn the graphics down because it was so laggy. It was terrible. And I might have to do that again this time around, we'll see. and get them all sold at once. I think we we did it this time. Okay. 11,311 dollars. Nice. And that's extra too. That's after we've filled our bakery with flour. So I like that. I like being able to sell the excess. Okay, so that gets us up to ninety-three thousand dollars. It's a nice little start, uh, but next month is going to be where the magic's going to happen. Because I think that's it for December. I don't think there's anything else to do. Unless I wanted to do those cultivating contracts, but I don't know. I don't feel like it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, let's look at those again. <sighs> let's see. We'd make about $2,000. And I'd have to run all the Nah, I'm not going to do it. Not this time. If if one of those was a good, a big size, you know, a big one, then I'd just take them all and knock them out. But they're all little, so I'm just not going to bother with it this time. Okay, so, yeah, it is time now for us to sell some straw. So I'm going to grab the Anderson trailer... And I think we'll pull that 
we can't... I don't think we can use our pickup with that. So, yeah, let's just... We'll use the Fint. And we'll sell a couple loads of straw. Uh, because this is the best time of year for that. Not going to sell all of it, of course, because we need some of it. But we have way more than we actually need. So let's turn it into some cash. Now, I, I think I told you guys this, but if I didn't... Whoa. Um, I actually discovered last January, when we were doing our sales, that you can pull any sized bale out of uh, out of these sheds as you want to. It doesn't matter that you you know put the square ones in. And so that's why I'm going to use the round trailer because I can pull them the large circle or not circle uh, round bales out, which are the biggest ones. All right, so let's go here. We want straw, and we want the 1.8 meter, 11,000 liter round bales. So they're 2,000 liters larger than the biggest square bales. And we'll pull out the maximum number that'll come out. Ooh, wow, that really drains us down, doesn't it? Okay. And actually, yeah, I guess we're going to have to come at this from the other side. Actually, there's still a lot of straw in there. Okay. So I'll get loaded up here, and then I will meet you guys at, uh, I believe it's Animal Dealer. I'll check it again, though, before we leave, because, again, it changes. Uh, yeah, Animal Dealer's given the best price. $12,410. All right. All right, guys. I forgot uh, that we can actually transport quite a bit more uh, with the square bales. So I switched back to the square bales and grabbed the, the semi and the big flatbed trailer here. Okay, so this is probably going to be more like around $15,000. Okay, I don't know what side it's offloading on. So let's just see what it does. There we go. So that was 76.44. 50 or 5,000 and 1,000. 76 plus 5 is 12,006. Well, man, I don't know. Maybe we didn't get that that much more. Um, here, let's look at this. Ah, uh, bales sold. So if we cut that in half, that's basically $13,000. So, but we only got 12 on the first one. So, yeah, we got, we probably got about 14,000 on this one. So it's a little bit more anyway. All right, guys, I think this is going to be our final load. And this will also be our, well, it'll be our sixth load if you count the the first load that we did with the round bales. But our fifth load with the flatbed trailer. Okay, so we're going to need, uh, uh, looks like eight, eight more bales to fill this out. 
2.4, and we want eight bales. Okay, and we still we still have a, a decent amount of straw in here too, for sure. We could even probably do one more load, but I think that this will we'll call this good here. Okay, let's go drop it off. So this is going to get us up to about $175,000. And I think I'm going to take and put $150,000 um, towards the loan just to knock that down a little bit to, so we're not paying so much interest on it. And then, of course, next month we will uh, you know, fully pay off the loan. That is the plan for the moment anyway. There is a, there is a, um, no, never mind. There was a header that came up for sale. It was a 30 foot header, which is two feet longer than the one we have, but it was a fit, I think. <coughs> so I think I want to hold out for the, uh, you know, for the, for the actual cloth header that goes with our combine. So everything matches and it's nice and neat. Um, and if we if if it doesn't come up for sale or you know another really nice long one anyways uh come up for sale by the time it's time for us to harvest our barley i'm probably just going to buy the header it's ninety thousand dollars so it's pretty expensive but you don't use the nicest combine in the game and not also use a nice header with it that's just all there is to it and preferably the the correct header you know but i mean if that if that big, really, you know, long John Deere header that we used a couple times came up for sale, I wouldn't mind having that either. So. Alright. This is a little bit better way to do this. Okay, yeah, so $175,615. Let's go right on into here before I change my mind. <laughs> and we want to knock this down to... Uh, so we said we were going to take 150 so let's do 155 So we want to knock this down to 250 Uh, Yeah. 250. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> okay, so that still leaves us twenty thousand dollars of operating cash, and we took two hundred uh, or one hundred fifty thousand bucks off of the loan. That's a good thing. It's always good to pay pay down those bank debts as soon as possible. All right, guys. Well, uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, I, uh, my tentative plan is for the next episode is to see if we can set up auto drive, but I'm not sure how well that's going to work. The more I think about it, we're going to try it. Uh, we could definitely set up, you know, driving courses. But what we might not be able to do is get the AI to offload the bales. Maybe they will. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what they do. It's possible that they will. Uh, so we'll just have to kind of see how, you know, how all that works out. But anyway, uh, it's time for me to go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> so... I'm going to let you guys go here, and I will see you in the next episode. See, I've yawned already. Excuse me. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.